Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chase from Burnout Inc. And this is it, man. This is it. This is the 100th video. This oh my god, this is awesome. This is the first time I've ever done a fan uh, figure giveaway or a contest of any sort of, you know, kind or anything like that. So I was really, really excited to do it and I was so glad I got so many people to uh, reply and guess on the figure and trust me, in another 100 videos or when I hit like a thousand subscribers or some other landmark, I'm going to do another figure giveaway. Hell, I might even do one at 150. Who knows? So, I know you all want to know, who the hell is it? Who the hell is the figure in the box? Well, even though the guessing's over, there's just one more clue. San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Undertaker from Wrestlemania 15 which is unfortunately from the match he had with the big boss man in the Hell in a Cell which is infamous for being one of the worst matches of all time or at least from WWE's standards it's one of the worst WWE matches of all time in fact it's always voted as one of the worst Wrestlemania matches of all time and it Pretty much, aside from the Giant Gonzalez match, it sits as The Undertaker's worst WrestleMania match ever. And it is. It is. It's a horrible match. But you know what? Undertaker looked badass, and I'm so happy that Mattel decided to make an exclusive figure based on his WrestleMania 15 attire. Alright, so let's get him out of there. And there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little excited. This is pretty cool. I absolutely love this action figure. I have never taken this out of the package. In the two plus years I've owned it, I have not taken this thing out of the package. Go into the packaging real quick. I mean, this is truly exclusive and amazing and just worth it. This is such a great you know, package. I mean, this is just absolutely awesome. It's got this really badass Undertaker decal on here with the reflective silver and the blue. It just looks amazing. Adult collector, so kids may not apply. I uh, love the backer card in there, too, with the blue WWE logo with, like, the sparks coming down. It's amazing. I uh, love the tribal work, too, that they did on the side here. And on the back, it's got a picture of the Undertaker with the WrestleMania 15 logo. Uh, it's got a description of him right here with, you know, kind of detailing the match with the big boss man. And that's all there is to it. All right, so now we're going to get him out of there. All right, guys, here he is. This is the Lord of Darkness outside of the packaging. Only accessory he comes with other than his, you know, badass cape vest thing going on there is the Stan, which was, you know, pretty standard amongst WWE Elites back in the day. You know, that day being 2009-2010. And they discontinued it after they switched up their uh, packaging style. So we'll put that down there. Sadly, he doesn't have a, a nameplate for it. Either that, I mean, I looked in the packaging, I didn't see one, so that's unfortunate. But let's get into the figure. 
this Undertaker is supremely badass. Absolutely love the detail work that they put into his hair. I mean, it's it's you can see right here where um, his head's a little bit shaved or it's, it's you know it's pulled back, and then it goes into this top ponytail right here and it drapes down there and across the back. And then he's got his uh, little saber tooth looking goatee right there. Totally awesome. And so far, um, I believe this is the only Undertaker that Mattel has made where he has white eyes. Every other Undertaker just shows his eyes as plain, but I love the fact that they wanted to make this one seem much more evil and menacing, so they decided to white out his eyes. Badass looking vest with the wicked sick um, scaling going on in here. It's got some chains going across, and yes, I did notice he has freaking nipple rings here and here on the vest. What the hell is that? This ain't Batman forever. Although it's hard to tell, seeing as how he does sort of look like a menacing Batman with the cape. And the cape is made out of fabric. It's a see-through mesh fabric. Um, very glad they decided to actually use fabric and not go with a molded cape. That would have drove down um, the figure's worth to me a lot more. And I love that he has these really badass menacing shoulder pads on here too. You know, Super Shredder meets the freaking devil going on. Let's see. And I think the one thing I love about this Undertaker the most are these boots. Not even sure what the hell this symbol is supposed to represent. I think it just means ministry. You know, for Ministry of Darkness. Because it does kind of look like an M now, the more I look at it. And I love the buckles that they put in here. The stud work going on. And the multiple colors with this Undertaker, too, because he's got this light grayish blue washed on these blacks there. He's got it here, too, along his tights. You can see a little bit better there. And it goes around towards his ass and on the front. Let's see if I can get this thing off. Oh, yeah, and this, he's got straps back here, too. And he does have those, like, same kind of snaps that, um... You know, like the Brock Lesnar and the Rock figure has. See how easily these will come off. So you gotta pull back, lift it forward. It's a good thing this thing is rubber. And there we go. I wasn't too big of a fan of this, like, open chest design on The Undertaker. I think I probably just would have went with black on here instead of exposing his chest. I just think it's a little too He-Man-ish and not really a good fit for him. But I love the symbol work that they did in here. It's very cool. It's a very interesting and, un ah. it's a very interesting and unique design that they did with the um, Undertaker T-Cross. And I like this... Um, you know, upside. And I like this like triangle shape thing that they did. It looks kind of like Shredder's mask for some reason. I don't know why, or kind of like the front part of Darth Vader's mask. And he's got pretty wicked tattoos going on in here. I mean, they're very very accurate to what Undertaker has. And he's got his elbow pads, which are cool, and his fingerless. I'm gonna punch you in the face real hard gloves. Unlike the Kevin Nash figure, these ones are actually painted all the way down. Um, I do have a couple little paint defects. There's some white above his uh, left eyebrow, and there's a little bit of a slash mark right there next to his right eye. You know, nothing too bad. Um, it's really not a whole lot I can complain about. It's just little things like that tend to drive me crazy once I notice them, so... So yeah, it won't be, it's not that bad. So this Undertaker does have elite articulation. His head could go 360 if you wanted to. It moves up and down really well. He's got a solid ab crunch. He's got a waist joint. Arms rotate all the way around, in and out. He's got upper biceps swivel. He's got bend in the elbow. Rotates all the way at the wrist. Pivots in and out very smoothly too. Not bad for somebody who's been in packaging for over two years. Or three, actually. Let's see, his legs do go forward, and they go out. Upper hip swivel, 
double bend in the knee, which is really smooth, but also still tight. Rotates all the way at the boot, and it does bend back and forth really well at the foot, and does pivot and rock at the ankle. Like his WrestleMania streak, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Undertaker gets a perfect 10 out of 10. Small little defects aside, this is an absolute perfect likeness to how The Undertaker was in 1999 and at WrestleMania 15. Just a perfect recreation of that costume and the look and feel of the character is amazing. He's got super tight joints for being in packaging for so long. And I just absolutely love this figure. There's really not enough good things I can say about it. You know, it's really weird when Mattel screws up Undertaker figures like they did with, I think, the Series 8 and the Series uh, 14. I was not a big fan of that weird, grimacing, head scan. I'm much more of a fan of just the blank Undertaker stares where he's just going to kill you. And I think they absolutely nailed it here with the wide eyes and his expression. I mean, this looks just like how he did from 1999. It's insane. I'm like looking into my childhood right now and it's just freaking me out. So, yes, this Undertaker gets a 10 out of 10. He's an absolute must-buy for any serious WWE Mattel collector. If you haven't gotten this figure before, you know, get it on eBay. Get it on Amazon. Find one at a convention somewhere. You have to own it. And he looks pretty awesome holding my custom Burnout Inc. championship belt. So, this was Chase from Burnout Inc. Thanks for watching my past 100 videos, and if you haven't seen them all, then whatever. Go watch them. Well, don't watch all of them, because some of them kind of suck. But, you know, thanks for tuning into this. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for the support over this, you know, last year and couple of months when I've been doing this stuff. So, I'm going to keep going. We'll see where I'm at in the next 100 videos.